set me free Come on little girl Wir sind heute in Kalifornien und treffen den legendären Dr. Bob Hieronymus. Das ist der Künstler, der den Woodstock T1 bemalt hat, den man auf dem Time Magazine sehen konnte damals. Und er hat einen neuen Bus kreiert, den Love the Earth Bus. Und was die beiden gemeinsam haben und wie es zu dem neuen Projekt kam, das wird er uns erzählen. Freut euch schon drauf. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? What's a guy like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> It's an honor to meet you and have a ride with this awesome car. Uh, this, this is a ride I'm looking forward to because I had, I had no idea just how precise you guys could be. So, wir sitzen jetzt zu dritt im Auto. Nicht nur Dr. Bob, sondern auch Laura Courtney ist mit uns. Die unterstützt Dr. Bob unheimlich viel bei der ganzen Forschung, bei der ganzen Nachforschung, bei der Historie. Und was die beiden uns zu erzählen haben, das seht ihr gleich. Really happy, Laura, Dr. Bob, that you will show me the car around. So obviously it's an ID bus, and everybody knows you that you have created the legendary Woodstock bus. But what is that? Oh, this is more important, in my opinion, than the Woodstock bus, uh, because we're talking about the realities. We're talking about uh, the fact that who are we? What are we? We are all one people on one planet. We're all together. And the thing I liked about painting cars, it was a billboard because each area then could be a pattern, a story, etc. And we could talk about them when we look at this and you see a number of symbols on here. So I guess this is one of the symbols. Yes. What does it mean? What's so this, there, especially right? this one here, because oh, yeah. it pops up somewhere in different kinds. Well, those are a combination of symbols that Dr. Bob put together to stand for love and the earth. Okay. It's because the whole concept of this design is love the earth in 25 different languages that we tried to represent each of the continents, the most wi widely spoken with a smattering of each of the continents. And the Ankh is generally a symbol of love and light and eternal life. And this is a symbol for the earth, the four corners of the earth, or the four elements of the earth. That's a heart, obviously. And this is an alchemical symbol for the earth, the upright triangle, whereas it should be actually this way for the earth. That's fire in that direction. Um, but you see, you've got, uh, you've got Liebe die Erde there in German. Yeah. You've so, got, I, I know, think I that's these... Swedish, Alaska okay. Jordan. This is the Navajo one. I think you'd say Anish ni ni hima nihujdan. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> How does it come that you pick up these 25 languages? Is it by coincidence? Well, it, it's all based on Bob's original poster that he made for the That's Earth Day. The Earth Day holiday when it was first originated. He was working with the originator of that holiday. What do you think about if We three are now going to make a ride with this one and go to a VW bus show and show this new one to the audience. What do you think about that? Well, I think that's a great idea because I'd like to hear what they have to say. I'm happy to go if you're ready. Yeah, let sure. Let's hit the road. Can you tell us briefly how it came up in the past to the Woodstock bus. So everybody knows these bars and has seen it, but how does it start? It? So was it a uh, thing for a friend or how did you do this? Oh, yes, it was a commission from Bob Grimm. The Robert uh, Grimm was the leader of the, the singing group of Light. He was the boss. He was the guy that really knew what the hell was going on and everybody else was uh, Uh, just following um, and and he is 
Bob Grimm is a, a musician that his own songs are really what the whole life of, of what we were doing were all about. Can you remember when you have seen that you are on the cover of the Time magazine and Rolling Stones magazine, that your bus was, was featured there? Yes, but I was spoiled then. <laughs> because I was used to it. <laughs> you got kind of used to it. Oh, it was the car again. <laughs> okay. So, so it wasn't as exciting as I would have hoped it would have been. Hey! Bob, I love you, Bob. How have you been? Hey, I love you. Nice to see you. Good to see you again. Where are you gonna, going right now? Well, well we're going to... Just gonna... right on and we'll pop okay. there. We'll so, go talk to you right now, Bob. All right. Happy to see you. Ditto. Yes. I remember. Yes. <laughs> I love you so much, Dad. You know, yeah. I'm going to cry again. God damn it. Wahnsinn, was für ein Empfang. Dr. Bob haben sie mir gleich aus dem Auto gezogen. Der ist hier wirklich sowas wie ein Rockstar. Ich guck mal, ob wir ihn jetzt noch mal hier finden und ob er uns doch noch mal kurz was zu seinem Leitbass zeigt. Und danach gehen wir mal hier über das Festival. Das scheint wirklich grandios zu sein. Dr. Bob, you are really a star here. They grabbed you out of my car. Well. So everybody loves you and your relationship to the bus. And that's how all started with you and the V-Dub bus. So it's a totally piece of art. But can you tell us one special thing about it? For example, what is that? This is Aquarius. This is the changing of the consciousness, the elevating of consciousness. This is a very important time in the history of our country from that standpoint. And it's elevating. This is the female aspect of it. It's gold because it has great power. That's okay. gold has that power that silver does not. We could talk hours about that. So, but unfortunately, we, we run a little bit out of time. It was such a great day with you, Laura. Thank you to having me, Dr. Bob. It, it was, was a real pleasure to walk around with you here. Das war sie, die Bully Love Story mit Dr. Bob Hieronymus. Für mich persönlich eine der emotionalsten, weil da so viel Liebe und Herzblut drin steckt in den beiden Autos, die er kreiert hat. Und wenn euch das gefallen hat und ihr von dem Treffen noch ein bisschen mehr sehen wollt, guckt euch einfach mal die nächste Folge an.